What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberg, here, the Blue Collar Nerd. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is yet, then check out this video. You're gonna see a link coming up in the corner of the screen here. I'll also put a link in the description down below. And then once you know what it is, if you're interested, come on back to this video. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started. And by that, I mean the basics of picking out a Zapier plan, signing up, and getting your Service Titan account linked. If you've already got all that set up and you're ready to start building, then check out the links down below where you can find some video examples of me walking you through setting up a Zap. But this video is just for people who are interested and want to know how to get going. So the first thing you'll need to do is go on over to zapier.com and pick out a plan. Now you'll notice here that there is a free plan, but I actually do not recommend starting with this free plan. It's just a little bit too limited because you only get single step zaps. Even for our most simple automations, we're probably gonna end up using more than a single step. And so for most people, I would recommend starting off with the starter plan. Now, if you go to this drop down here, you can actually upgrade the starter plan a little bit. So you can do 750 tasks per month, or you can kick that up to 1500 tasks per month. Now, every step you have within a zap, within an automation, counts as a task. So how fast you burn through tasks depends on the size of your company and how many zaps you're using. If you just wanna build one or two zaps to kind of get started, kind of dip your toe in and see if you like it, just go ahead and start with the 750. You can always upgrade later. Zapier will warn you when you're about to run out of tasks and give you the opportunity to upgrade the plan then. Now, in order to connect your Service Titan account to Zapier, you're gonna need a couple of things. One is the invite link because Service Titan is still in the open beta, so it's not just publicly out there. You can't search for it just yet, you have to have the link. At least that's the case at the time of me filming this video, which is early August of 2020. Now, Service Titan has actually applied to become a part of the public catalog, so maybe by the time you're watching this video, that's no longer the case. And the second thing you'll need is an API key. Now you can get both of those things by going to servicetitan.com slash Zapier, and then clicking on this link that says get the open beta, that's gonna open up a form that you can fill out. Important note here, not every Service Titan package includes access to the API. In order for Service Titan to provide you with that API key, you need to either be on the, the works package or you need to be a legacy customer, meaning that you signed up for Service Titan before packages were implemented. So if you signed up for Service Titan after packages were implemented and you're on a package lower than the works, then you will not be able to get this API key. If you have any questions about that, contact your CSM, they can help you out. Now, once you get the email back, that's gonna have the link and the API key. Clicking on that link is gonna open up Zapier. You're gonna log in if you're not logged in already. And then in your Zapier account, you're gonna click this make a zap button. That'll get you to this blank slate where you have a step one and it's saying you need to choose an app. So we're gonna search for Service Titan and click it. I've, I've got a lot because I'm in all the betas and stuff. And then you're gonna see a screen that looks something like this. This is where you need to fill in the information to link your Service Titan account to Zapier. So this first field here is the Service Titan API key. We'll go ahead and paste that in. The next field is the name of your company. And then finally, your username, the one you want to associate with this connection. Once you've got all that entered, you're gonna hit yes, continue. And then if all goes well, here's what we'll be looking at. Our Service Titan account is now linked in with Zapier and we are ready to start building our first Zap. Check out the next video in this playlist to check out a walkthrough of setting up an example Zap. But for this video, that's all I got. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.